This video will be a tutorial teaching how to use Tiny Task in Drive World. The use of Tiny Task games to prevent you from being kicked out of the game while you are away. The game automatically kicks you if you are inactive for 20 minutes. Staying inactive is the same as not performing any interaction with the game. First you need to go to the Tiny Task website and download the executable file. Tiny Task works like a repeater, it will record the actions you perform with your keyboard and mouse and then it will repeat them. First you must open Tiny Task, click on Prefs and there you will mark the continuous playback option. By marking this option, you are telling the program that you want it to execute the function in a loop. It will run infinitely until you give the command to stop it. If you don't mark this option it will only run once and consequently you will be kicked due to lack of interaction for 20 minutes. Now another very important option is the recording hotkeys, this option is where you program the keyboard shortcuts that you perform the commands for the program to start or stop recording your actions. In the option below in playback hotkeys you can also put a shortcut to execute or stop the execution of a recording. Be aware that the F12 in Roblox is used to start a screen recording, so using the F12 requires some caution. In play you give the command for the program to perform some recording. Rec is the button where you start a recording, remembering that you can also use the keyboard shortcut. In open you open a recording that you have already saved on your computer and want to play. Now using it in practice. Let's imagine the following example. You want the game to be AFK without you having to change it. You have two options, the first is to use Tiny Task to run everything for you, even control the car, or you simply use the ESC key on your keyboard. Drive World has a scheme where if you are accelerating the car and pressing ESC, the car will continue accelerating by itself. You can press ESC again to close the menu and the car will still accelerate on its own. You can also use other buttons like Accelerate plus Steering Wheel, so the car keeps accelerating and turning. You can also use Accelerate plus Steering Wheel plus Space, doing this the car will drift. So to make it clearer I'll explain that part again. If you want it to be automatic drifting, you will press W plus D plus Space, keep pressing it. While you have these three pressed, you will press Escape, and after opening the menu you can release the three buttons so that the car will drift by itself. Now that you understand this principle, just open your tiny task, record some action such as turning the headlights on and off every 30 seconds or 1 minute, you decide. It can also be a click with the right or left mouse button on the screen, you can also use nitro. Remembering that using nitro can destabilize your car, and using click can also occur from accidentally clicking on something that shouldn't click. So the simplest thing is to use the L key on the keyboard to turn the light on and off. Record in Tiny Task you turning the headlights on and off every 30 seconds, then save this configuration and give it a name. Then use the shortcut or click on play for the program to start executing this action, and that's it, your game will no longer be kicked. Remembering that you still run the risk of being disconnected if your internet connection suffers any problems. There is an interesting way to prevent you from losing your farm in case your internet connection drops or even if you fell out of the map. The simplest way is to use Tiny Task to teleport you every 10 minutes to a specific location on the map, but before teleporting you need to take a break to allow time for the money to enter your balance. Doing this also prevents you from falling out of the map or a bug and your car stops moving. If you use this method you will also have to record yourself accelerating, drifting, teleporting and even pressing ESC for the program to repeat everything as needed. I'm not a native English speaker, as you can see I use a robot with AI to speak for me. So I ask you not to bother if you notice any errors or difficulties in understanding something that was said. I'm willing to answer the comments if you have any questions. I hope this video has helped you, have a good farm and good fun.